The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your love set our hearts on fire. In Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 2. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, the ends of the earth for your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron and dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son, or he will be angry, and your way will lead to your destruction. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Here is a warning to kings of this world. Kings of this world bow before the Lord because he is the king of kings. You may think you're very great at the moment. You may think you're even greater than God, but he laughs at you and he can destroy you in a moment. So kings of this world uh, bow before the Lord and honour him. Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 18. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star that they had seen when it rose went ahead of them, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child and his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with the gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their own country by another route. When they had gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, he said, take the child and his mother and escape to Egypt. Stay there until I tell you, for Herod is going to search for the child to kill him. So he got up and took the child and his mother during the night and left for Egypt, where he stayed until the death of Herod. So it was fulfilled what the Lord had said through the prophet, out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod realized that he had been outwitted by the Magi, he was furious and gave orders to kill all boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity who were two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had learned from the Magi. Then what was said through the prophet Jeremiah was fulfilled. A voice is heard in Ramah, weeping and great mourning, Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted because they are no more. So here is the story of the wise men coming to visit uh, Jesus and they arrive and uh, you know the story well. How they uh, went to Herod, believing that the, the king of kings would be born in a palace uh, and found him not to be there. And so then they uh, were directed to Bethlehem where they found the Lord. And then you read about Herod's attempt to destroy the Messiah, how he killed all of the children under two years old, all of the boys under two years old, so that the Messiah couldn't uh, 
uh, emerge in Herod's mind. The kings of this world have always tried to destroy the kingdom of God. But as we read in the psalm today, God triumphs. He is powerful and will be victorious over all the attempts of the kings of this world to frustrate his kingdom. Lord, we lift up to you, your church today, and we pray especially for the persecuted church, those who the kings of this world are attempting to destroy. And Lord, we pray that you will strengthen your people and Lord, that they will know uh, that you are with them in the midst of great trials. And for the kings of this world, those who act wickedly, those who act arrogantly, those who act in a selfish way, whether selfish for themselves and their own power or selfish for their nation and their nation's power. Lord, we pray that you will turn their hearts to you, that, Lord, they will acknowledge that there is a king of kings and one before whom they must bow down. And so, Lord, we lift up this day and our own lives too. And we pray whatever power we have, we will use righteously before you. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen.